Hello everyone, let's take a look at what's inside of a computer. Now to start off, computers have changed drastically. What we can see here is this little computer can do everything we see on my desk right now. It can connect to speakers and a monitor, keyboard and mouse, and even a webcam and a microphone. It used to take a room just full of mainframes to do what this little single board computer can do. Also, our computers are drastically changing because now we have integrated computers and smartwatches and even health and fitness trackers. It's astounding where we're at now. So let's talk about what a computer does. A computer is going to take input. And by taking input, it's then going to store it in memory. It'll be processed and then be provided as output. So let's chat about it. We've got these input devices here. I've got a keyboard and a mouse. I've got a microphone. Then I've got output. I've got speakers here. I have my monitor. Also, there's another input device sitting right here staring at me. It's my webcam. That's going to take in data as well. So let's change it up and talk about some of the other components in a computer. So those components on the outside got to connect somewhere. So we can take a look at this box. People call it a box. It's a computer case, it's a computer tower, or we just call it the box. When we take a look at the box, you can take a look at the front of our box and you'll find that we have USB ports to plug in our components on the outside like keyboard and mice. You got a headphone for a speaker out, you got a microphone in port, and you've got this optical drive for those people who still use CDs, which you never know. Now besides the front of the box, we can take a look at the back of the box. On the back of our box here, we can see a variety of different items. We've got the power supply to plug in the computer case and power everything going on. We've got these adapter cards here that give us extra functionality. One here is for networking and internet. The other one's for display to give us multiple monitors. And besides all that, down below we've got these connectors here that hook to the system board. I've got some for the microphone. I got something for a speaker, for external line in to put those high powered audio and send it into the computer system. I've got multiple display ports here regarding VGA, DVI, some cool ways to output to, again, monitors. Now these things aren't as powerful as this graphics card here. That graphics card there, well, that would be something like this. Something big and beefy to play your games, to do things such as virtual reality and 3D, you name it, that's where that goes. Now, these graphic card ports here, yeah, it's built into the motherboard, not as powerful. Down below, I've got four USB ports to connect more external devices and components, and I also got a built-in networking jack. Why two networking jacks? Because one might be built into the system board, and another one might be awesome for gaming and high performance. Let's take a look at the inside of this case and see what else we have going on here. Let's get inside the box. So we'll take off this side panel here, and we'll get into the internals of our computer system. So we take a look at the inside of this computer system, one of the first things we see is this fan here. And this fan is sitting on top of these fins. And these fins have one job, to keep the CPU underneath cool. That CPU is gonna be executing instructions and running programs. And that CPU is gonna get really hot really fast. That heat's gonna to go to these fins, and this fan here is gonna cool down those fins. Now what's that CPU doing? Well, as our computer system takes an input, it's going to be taking an information. That information is going to be processed through that CPU, and it's going to be stored in things like this hard drive here, or right here on these memory sticks. So these memory sticks, they're called our RAM. And these RAM sticks here are going to temporarily store data so it can be executed faster by our CPU. When we store data permanently, it'll be put on this hard drive over here, which is a solid state drive. An example of that would be my solid state drive right here. These solid state drives are going to retain data and be able to read and write data very fast. Now besides that, we have some expansion cards here, and these are going to be our graphics card and that network card we saw earlier. These are in expansion slots, which give us more functionality. It adds more to our system board. Where's the system board? Well, that system board is this entire motherboard down below, which is attached into our computer case. This motherboard is full of different components and capacitors and circuitry. It allows our entire computer system to be able to be sending and receiving data. At the top here, I've got an optical drive. That optical drive uses those old-style CD, DVD discs. Yep, that can temporarily store data on a CD or DVD. 
Up here, this is our power supply. This is providing power down to all the components within the system, including the main board itself, that system board. This power supply will attach to your wall outlet and give you the power needed to run all of your components inside. Whether you have a small graphics card or you're dropping in the latest and greatest beefy ones in order to run anything you want to throw at your system, including gaming, homework assignments, as well as business and productivity. So get started identifying what is inside of your computer and become an IT professional.